<laughs> okay, everybody, thank you for joining us in our glo groovy life tonight. Gab and I are going to have Bloody Marys again. So it's been a while since we had Bloody Marys. Mm -hmm. Not too long, but a little while. Those of you who have watched our first Bloody Mary episode, remember that I sure do love the Tabasco one. That's why you can see that it's not full, <laughs> but I sure do love the Tabasco one. We're also tonight having two from Famous Dave's. Uh, originally a Wisconsin company, now a Minnesota company, because that's where their corporate office is. Uh, in fact, we can drive right to it. know exactly where it is. Uh, this is the Devil Spit Bloody Mary mix. So get ready for the gab, that gab because devil spit is devil spit across the board. Just oh. like the pickles you just recently had. Yeah, remember those okay. pickles? And also, their Bloody Mary mix rich and sassy. Now I think it's interesting and I'm just going to critique for a moment. This is not great quality control when your label is so crooked. So, hey guys, up there. I might even bring that up to people because we know a lot of people there. That's kind of weird quality oh, yeah. control. The okay. label is just crazy. Yeah, on both of them. Has nothing but this to do one with our tasting. Works. Has nothing to do with our tasting. Also, uh, along with it, we are trying it with American Plains vodka. Now, I have never ever heard of this vodka, but it's interesting to me because our local Total Wine highly recommended this vodka. And they stated to us that uh, it was a really highly rated vodka for a budget vodka, and then it came from Iowa. Now, I'm not trying to blast our friends at Total Wine, but this yeah. is the first time I'm actually looking at it. And it actually states that it's from Princeton, Minnesota, not Iowa, produced and bottled by American Plain Spirits Company. And those of you who follow us at all know that we are native Minnesotans, and I have never heard of American Plain Spirits Company. So, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but you know what? We're mixing it with Bloody Marys, so who cares? We're gonna, excuse me, we're gonna try it. And then along with it, of course, the old standby, the Clure's pickles, beautiful Clausen pickles, and the smokehouse sausage the Richford sticks. Richford smokehouse oh, Richford, sausage yes. sticks. Awesome. Just in case we feel like we really, Gavin, I feel like we really need to have a pickle and a sausage stick, beefy stick. All right, so here we go. So we've already poured the vodka. I'll probably take a little bit more, and these are just kind of watered down now. You want some more vodka? Just uh, like the smallest bit more. Okay. Well, do more than my preschool teacher would. That's good. That's good. That one's like really watered down. That's good. Okay. All right. Then we're going to Tabasco. They're going to go in the same order as they were. They're smelling things. Maybe I should shake it. Alright. We are officially, oh. probably not a bad idea. We are officially out of Tabasco, Tabasco extra spicy. Oh no. Set him off to the side. Oh, here. Dead soldier. Yourself. All right, That's the next the up is spit. the devil spit. And then last but certainly not least is the rich and sassy. I think the rich and sassy was the barbecue sauce that we used to buy before we found spicy chipotle. Yes, yes we love rich and Ooh, sassy that barbecue super sauce. Sweet. See how uh, much thinner it is? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't have I'm nearly leaking, stuff. I'm leaking. And I'm gonna be a total Minnesotan, just like my grandma. I'm gonna mix things with my knife. Alright. Oh, I forgot the lid, my bad. No a little, little cross contamination here, but that's okay. So we'll pull this off to the side here. Would you like a pickle or a beefy stick in yours? I will have a beefy stick and a pickle. Actually, you probably can want one of each in each. I'm going to have one of each. I don't even need them in each. I'm going to have one of each that I'm going to move along one at a time. He's going to start one, there. I want one of these. I don't even care which one I put it in because I want one. Ooh. And then I want a... Just put Ooh. those off the side. I want a beefy stick and you can put the beautiful manures over there with it. <laughs> See? Even the juice. <laughs> oh my god, even the juice, that got me. Oh nice. my. 
beautiful Woo! beefy stick. I just need like, I don't even need a whole one. But you're gonna move it along. Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess I'll oh, like so. Too bad you don't have a cheeseburger on a stick and a mini pizza. I know. That would be awesome. Those of you who have seen one of our previous um, Bloody Mary episodes where I showed a Bloody Mary that I got in Vegas last year. Okay, let me have your knife. Oh. Let me do the grandma method because I can see that mine needs a little bit of mixing particularly. That's what Grandma Darlene always does. She Just mixes right everything. Oh, I guess I already mixed it. You don't up. need no freaking swizzle sticks. Have to, have to do it with a knife. That one's full, full, full. No freaking twizzle sticks. Well, it wasn't full until I put the goodies in it. Oh, that's okay, true. here we go. Now, so this guess which Tabasco. one we're going to try first? Tabasco. Because I believe that it's This one the seems best a one lot ever. thicker. The color is very light compared to the others. Well, the other two should have a lot more spices. Mmm. Well, okay. that one's so good. So, guess what? The Tabasco one is just phenomenal, mm. as it always is. I like that one a lot. Really, really, really good. Pickle adds to it. The beefy stick. The beefy stick is amazing anyway, because you folks at Bridgeford make a great beefy stick. Oh, I really like that one. I'm going to take a bite of my pickle. So, if you recall last time that we did, Gabby and I did Bloody Marys, we decided that the best one, hands down, was the Tabasco extra spicy, so we decided to move that forward. So okay. we have had this one, and now we're just testing it against the two Fang Staves. And it, Ooh, we haven't even tried the other two, so we can't take any sides yet. But, wow, the Tabasco one is still phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It didn't go bad. It oh, didn't go, oh my god, I can't believe that I liked Tabasco Bloody Marys. What no. happened? What, what was I like, so, so crazy? Good. It's a really good Bloody Especially Mary. when you add like that pickle. Oh, those, the pickle. Did we put the yeah, we put the Clausens in here. Those are like those are great pickles. They're spicy. That that caught me off guard. Just the pickle juice right off my finger. All right, I'm gonna move on, and I'm moving my accoutrement over to my other one. I guess I can do the same because I already took a bite of my pickle from that one. Yep. Just moving on. You get your germs all over it. Just now. don't hit it hard enough to toss it over. Okay. It's gone. <laughs> Let me have the knife to, to stir the pickle and beefy stick into this one. Because you get a little bit of juice off of that pickle. That's the Minnesota swizzle stick. Well, here, it's the Minnesota swizzle. Over there. Because I got my straw. So I'm weird and I like to drink things All right. with straw. So this is the devil spit. This one is? Okay. Ooh. That one's not over the top. No, but it's really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Really? That one has a little bit more of a sweetness factor to it. Actually, I lied. That one is a little spicy in the back of my throat. It is spicy. Woo! Without a doubt. I like that, though. It's wonderful. Ooh. It's wonderful. That, that's, that one's really good to me. We should have done it the other way around. Because mm -hmm. the sassy one is not going to be that hot. Sassy one's going to be sassy. Right? Sassy. I'm going to try my pickle on this one. I don't think you've had any of your pickle yet. Nope. Try now. My pickle's red. Which one is that? Clausen? Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah, we're eating the Clausen hot and spicy spears in this one. We've had the McClure so often. Oh, that was a little... As they say in today's world, Woo! McClure family or McClure company, we're not throwing shade on you. We're just trying to make sure that we spread the love. Yeah. And Clawson's got some love. Oh my gosh, that pickle got really hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My lips hurt. You are welcome. Okay. That's just a really good. See, that's what I was thinking because I have not had the Devil Spit Bloody Mary Ooh. mix for a long time, a long time. But it's right there with the Tabasco. It really is. It's right there. 
I think. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. It's just a wonderful <laughs> yeah. flavor. It gets you. It's just it's right really there. Good. I don't know if. Uh, Ooh. Actually, tasting them now, right now. Well, hold on. If, I'll get back to you. Hold that on. one was spicy on my lips. That one's a little, little uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably the pickle. Yeah. I think we should have tried them without the pickle and then added the pickle. Yeah, it's tough to tell between the two, which is better. So this is a little bit lighter. The Tabasco is a little bit lighter. This one's major, more tomatoey. Yeah. I feel. The, the, uh, I agree with you. The, uh, the Devil's Spit is a little bit more deep flavor taste. Is a little bit spicier. But it's a different spicy. The Tabasco tastes like Tabasco. The Devil Spit does not taste like Tabasco. It's a different spiciness to it. See, I know you love the Tabasco, the extra I know, the and spicy, I know you don't. extra spicy. I really, really like that Devil Spit one. I know we haven't even gotten to the sassy yep. one yet, but I really the like that. Spit, it's that's very, what I'm saying. I would do this whenever I wanted something spicy, but this one is a I don't know, kind of like, I wouldn't say every day, but. No, I get what you're saying. They're, they're, yeah, you know what I mean. They both are phenomenal. So, to me, they're Ooh. they're even. For any Bloody Mary I've ever had in my life, and that you and I have been trying, these two are, this one is definitely spicier. Yeah. I don't know if it's because we the added Tabasco, the pickle, but. No, because I had the pickle in my original one, in the Tabasco, and I moved that's, it over. That's, that's spicy. That made my nose go a little bit. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, both of them are just phenomenal. Different, they're just, they're a different spice. There's a different heat to them, to me. Now, you're right, we have always loved the rich and sassy barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I think this one looks, I don't know, just from my view from here, it looks the darkest. Yeah, and it could be some different pepper, in, or excuse me, um, different, um, what am I trying to say? Um, peppers? No, not peppers. What am I trying to say? There might be um, um, there may be more brown sugar or oh. some type of sugar in it. I don't know that. I don't know. Because it's rich and sassy. Because mm -hmm. you put yeah, see, and it's a lot sweeter. You put a, you put brown sugar or sorghum or something like that into like a oh. barbecue sauce. That's if you and it, and it will give more of a brown, deeper brown. Taste, but it's sweeter, and I think that's exactly what's going on here. It's much sweeter than the other two, so I, I think it's got some some dark sugars in it. That would definitely molasses, be sorghum, brown sugar, something that's that's causing it to be sweeter and darker. It says vinegar, molasses, mm. molasses, caramel. molasses. There you go, molasses. The molasses will make it darker. No, that's a sugar that makes it. It's a dark sugar. Mm, syrup. It and hits syrup. my taste buds super, super sweet, but then it. But then it kind of mellows you, out. It's you, really yeah, once tasty. Once you swallow it, it really mellows out. This would be one of those. Okay, you know what? When I make a Bloody Mary at home, we're making these two. But John, I come to your bar to have Bloody Marys because you use this one. Yeah. Because it's good. I know that not everybody wants it to be like this, but you use this mix so that's why I come have Bloody Mary to your place. No. That's a that's a really, really solid Bloody Mary. Alright, after all after tasting all of these three personally, I like the Devil Spit. But the Tabasco one is very good, but I really like that Devil Spit one. Yeah, the Devil Spit is very good. I don't know if I would drink it on like a daily basis because it it is a little bit spicy. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie about that. But if you want to, if you're like one of those chronic Bloody Mary drinkers, the Tabasco one would be to go. All right, so I had an opinion. I, I forgot. So I'm gonna I it. forgot. Yeah, I have to, you have to give them a one, two, three. Everybody's been One, waiting two, for the Tabasco. That's going to be tough because these three are, all three of them are really tasty. I think Devil Spit, Tabasco, and then the Rich and Sassy. One, two, and three. I'll let you get another sip of them. It's really tough. 
All right, if you put a gun to my head, I'd have to say the same thing. Devil spit, Tabasco. <gasps> I know that's really, really Did harsh. Did we to find that? Wow. And the rich and sassy. But the thing is, they're all three really good. They're all, yeah, they're all really good. They're but like, really there's, good. Like, the, like one of the Bloody Mary ones that we did that we weren't a huge fan of, any of them, but these ones are all really good. Yeah. So the one thing that I that I normally do with my Bloody Marys, even even with the Tabasco, is that I take some fresh ground pepper and do this to it, right? Mm. Which I didn't do because we're eating them exactly the way they are. But... The, the tiebreaker to me, which is just weird, is that this already tastes like it has fresh ground black pepper in it. Mm. So I don't need to do that. It has the same general taste going on, but there's black pepper going on in this one. So it's already there where I want it to be. This one, I would kick it up and again, we're drinking them right out of the bottle on purpose, and I would, on any normal day, add some fresh ground black pepper this one's already got it that's the difference to me that's why this one I'm tipping it yeah. to this one for the first time ever this one's just so much lighter it is compared to like the other ones it's funny that I say that this one's my favorite because I'm considering I drank so much of this one yeah that's just they're just all phenomenal so mm -hmm. All right, everybody, so... Hats off to Famous Daves. Yeah, hats mm -hmm. off to Famous Daves, because it's hard to... And I've had Famous Daves Absolutely. before, but right now... Again, this is like <laughs> many things that we've tasted for you all before. Unless you have them sitting right beside each other, you just don't know. No. Yeah. Right? You could say, today I'm having the Bloody Mary... Or a, a, a Tabasco, Tabasco Bloody Mary, and two weeks from now I'm having the Famous Daves Devil Spade. You go, oh, I love the Tabasco one. It's so much better. Well, wait a minute. Set them beside each other. each other. All Bloody Mary taste the same. Right. No, they don't. No, they don't. So try beside each other and, oh. and you'll see. Do a, a particular taste test. But that aside, let us know down below what you think. If there's one that you think is better. If you've seen uh, our other videos about uh, Bloody Marys, and we have a few more coming at you still. Mm -hmm. But uh, probably what we're going to do next time, the next uh, round, just like we brought the... Tabasco forward. We're going to bring the devil spit forward to the mm -hmm. next one that we do and try two others against that one. Ooh. But I think us, we have three other ones left. I think we, yeah, and, and there's several more that we have access yeah. to. But let us know down below what you think, what you see. If there's something specific to your area or region of the yes. country or world, let us know because we would we love are to try up it. for trying it. Because I think I've created a Bloody Mary monster in Gab so we can keep trying Bloody Marys and uh, we'd love to hear from you yes so thanks for stopping by we'll see you soon bye, bye. I never expected that I would like the devil spit that better than anything better than the Pasco one especially the devil spit which you've had a hundred times but when you put them next, next to each, each other, other. <laughs>